Ninth English Solutions Prose Chapter 2 I Can't Climb Trees Anymore In Text Questions Question 1 What was the old house built with? Answer The old house was built with solid block of granite. Question 2 Does the visitor still live in the house? Answer No, the visitor does not live in the beautiful old house. Question 3. What did the visitor hide in the jackfruit tree? Answer. The visitor hid some marbles, a book, a few old coins and an iron cross in the jackfruit tree. Question 4. When did the visitor actually hide the iron cross? Answer. The visitor hid the iron cross 25 years ago. Textual Questions. A. Based on your understanding of the story, indicate either T, true or F, false against the columns. Answers, true, two, true, three, true, four, true, five, true, six, false. 7. True. 8. False. 9. False. 10. False. B. Based on your understanding of the story, answer the following questions by choosing the correct answer. 1. The story I can't climb trees anymore highlights the importance of. Dot. A. Old age. B. Youth. C. Adulthood. D. Middle age. Answer. B. Youth. 2. The house which was visited by the man. Dot. A. Remained unchanged. B. Was totally changed. C. Was slightly repaired. D. Was given a facelift. Answer. A. Remained unchanged. 3. Who said, a blessing rests on the house where the shadow of a tree falls. A. Grandmother. B. Uncle. C. Grandfather. D. The visitor. Answer. A. Grandmother. 4. The visitor came back to the house because he. Dot. A. Wanted to see the jackfruit tree. B. Was looking for his lost youth. C. Wanted to look again at his old house. D. Wanted to buy the house. Answer. B. Was looking for his lost youth. 5. The visitor gifted he. To the little girl. A. Iron Cross. B. Marbles. C. Bronze Medal. D. Old Coins. Answers. A. Iron Cross. C. Answer the following questions in a sentence or two. Question 1. Explain. Blessings rest on the house where the shadow of a tree falls. Answer. We humans treat nature as God. Nature's gifts have always been thanked and taken. If a house has the shadow of a tree falling on it, then the inmates of the house have a feeling of being protected, guarded and blessed under the bowers of God. Question 2. What did the writer observe about the house? Answer. Ruskin Bond stood on the grass verge by the side of the road and looked over the garden wall at the old house. The old house was built with solid blocks of granite. There was a new outhouse and lesser trees. The jackfruit tree was at the side of the building casting its shade on the wall. There used to be a turnstile which he, as a boy, would swing round until he got dizzy. In its place now was a wall with tall hollyhocks on the side of the wall. Question 3. What was the local superstition about trees? Answer. The belief the local people had about trees was that when the shadow of the tree falls on a house that house is blessed by God. Question 4. What did the visitor do with the turnstile when he was a boy? Answer. When he was a boy, Bond used to swing round and round the turnstile until he was dizzy. Question 5. Who is the owner of the house now? Answer. Colonel is the owner of the house now. Question 6. Why did the visitor return to his old house?
Answer: The visitor returned to his old house searching for his memories of old days by going back to the places of his youth and childhood. Question 7: How did he get back the iron cross? Answer: The girl who lived in the house where Bond had spent his early days climbed up the tree and got for him the old iron cross from the hollow space. Bond kept it there approximately 25 years before. Question 8: How did the grandfather get the iron cross? Answer: The grandfather fought in France in the First World War. The iron cross was a German decoration awarded for bravery during the war. The grandfather got the cross from a German soldier. Question 9: What did he do with the old iron cross? Answer: He returned the old iron cross to the girl because Bond did not go there in search of the cross but for his youth. Question 10. Where had he left his childhood treasures? Answer: He had left his childhood treasures in Jackfruit Trees Hollow. D. Match the words in column A with the meanings in column B by drawing a line as shown. Answers: One F, two A, three A, four B, five C, six D, seven H, eight G. A. Read these shortened forms of words and write the full form for the remaining words and complete the table given below. Won't, will not. I'd, I had, I would. I'll, I will. Answers: You had would, they have, he had would, he is was, was not, is not, does not, are not, would not, cannot. Speaking: If you are visiting the primary school where you studied classes I to I V, after six years, you get a chance to go to your standard two classroom and you are permitted to sit at the same place where you used to sit. Question one. What would you remember? Answer: I would remember about the happy times spent in my classroom with my friends. My place in the classroom and learn writing again in the four lines on the board ETC. Question 2: Describe your feelings at that time. Answer: In ecstasy as the cherished moments are relived and though it can't come back in our life again, we do get a sense of satisfaction. Question 3: Who do you miss very badly your friends or teachers answer of course friends we cannot deny the very important role played by the teachers in shaping us what we are today missing only the friends because every second of the school timings was made a memorable one by them only question 4 share your thoughts with the class answer apart from home School is the single most important place in the lives of most children. The experience of school will play a vital part in their lives and will determine their academic, social and probably their occupational future. The desks, the rooms, the entire ambience remained the same. The minute I saw the school, I recalled several moments Spent some time in the place where I was seated in class one, and then went to each and every place and cherished the recalled moments. I shall never forget them. It was like a time machine which helped relive my moments. Writing, G. On seeing these pictures, you would have gone down your memory lane. Write a paragraph in about fifty words describing your favorite sport when you were young. My favorite sport gilli danda. It is an amateur sport. The game is played with two sticks, one large called danda and the other one fourth of the size of large stick called gilli with tapered ends. The players are divided in two teams to play this game, the hitter team and the opponent team. 
The danda is used to flick the short gilly into the air and hit again to make it travel to a maximum distance. In case the hitter is unable to flick the gilly, their turn gets over after three chances. The hitter's score is measured by the distance from the place where he hit the gilly while it is up in the air. If the opposing team catches the gilly, then the hitter ends his him. Think and write, each based on the story and your own ideas, write your answers in about 80 to 100 words each. Question 1. Imagine yourself as the writer. Narrate the story of your visit to your ancestral house. Answer: I decided in the middle of my age to relive some of the moments by practically visiting the spot. So, I went to Dehera where I spent my childhood days with my grandparents. I observed from far and noticed that the house has not changed much. I was happy to see the blocks of granite building and the jackfruit tree. Turnstile where I swung round and round was missing. Tall hollyhocks grew on one side of wall that was built in that place. When the girl invited me inside the house I climbed over the wall but couldn't land safe. I didn't enter the house but spent some time sitting on the stone bench under a mango tree. I recalled the music of a piano, the chiming of a grandfather clock, the cranking up of the old car of my grandfather, constant twitter of bajrigars on the veranda, and my treasure stacked in a hollow space of the jackfruit tree. All this memories relived gave me a lot of strength, happiness and boosted me too. Question 2 The man who came to the house gave the cross as a gift to the girl Why did he do this What do you think would have happened if he had taken back the cross with him Answer The man gave the cross to the girl because his purpose of visit was not to collect it from his old house The girl also may not have any particular use with that iron cross but would have taught her a lesson how each moment is precious in our life Suppose the man had taken the cross with him he would not be able to treasure it as she would due to her age it is young teenage period where such innocent sweet nothings are loved and enjoyed glossary textual bougainvillea an ornamental shrubby climbing plant that is widely cultivated in tropics brigadier a rank of officer in the british army above colonel Bajrigars, a small Australian bird of the parrot family, often kept in a cage as a pet. Chiming, make melodious ringing sounds typically to indicate the time. Colonel, a rank of officer in the army. Cranking, the act of turning a handle to start an engine. Hollyhocks, a tall Eurasian plant of the mallow family with large showy flowers. Muttered. Two other words in a low tone: pruning, the act of trimming a plant; slithered, slide a slip unsteadily on a loose or slippery surface; sprightliness, lively and full of energy; trapeze, a horizontal bar hanging by two ropes and free to swing, used by acrobats in a circus; turnstile, a mechanical gate consisting of revolving horizontal arms fixed to a vertical post. allowing only one person at a time to pass through